mattress that affects your body and how well you sleep? Is it too hard or too soft? Now you can get the total body support you need and the better sleep you want with the new MyPillow mattress topper. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. When I invented my new MyPillow mattress topper, I made it to have everything you'd ever want in a topper. My mattress topper helps give you the support you need, helps relieve your pressure points, and regulates your body temperature for you as an individual. It comes with a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry the cover. It's made in the USA, and I back it with my 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to MyPillow.com or call now to get your very own MyPillow mattress topper. Use the promo code, and Mike will give you 30% off and two standard MyPillows absolutely free. Order now. I personally guarantee it's going to change your bed into the most comfortable bed you'll ever own. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. All right, did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk Champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really, don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready, all right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. So go to right, I go to left, got fake them Mama, go, up, up, up. She did it. Again? You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh-huh. I think one of the biggest. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. IRT statistician JP Edwards in the booth today for this the, for this night's matchup. We've got a good matchup here for you. The number one or the number two double team, Ben Croft, Kane Waslinchuk, playing Ernesto Ochoa and Javier Estrada tonight in the quarterfinals. So we just saw an incredible match between the number one double team, Daniel De La Rosa and Alvaro Beltran. They took down the legends, Rocky Carson and Cliff Swain in two games. We saw some awesome interviews after that as well. If you missed it, go to the International Racquetball Tour Facebook page and YouTube channel. Check it out there. But right now, we've got a match for you. Both teams wearing all black and right off to the start. Kane with a killer down the line shot. They're in the box. Zero serving one on the head pen scoreboard. All right, in the booth with me, I'd like to welcome Javier Soto. Javier, or er, Fabio, wow, Fabio Soto. <laughs> you think of Javier Estrada. Javier in the Estrada, <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Fabio Soto. Well, thank you very much, uh, JP. So we got an all black player team. <laughs> we got all these guys dressed almost the same. All in pro, pro Kennex. Let's, let's, let's see, we may confuse <laughs> during the broadcast. Let's see how we do. Yeah. It's a challenge, not gonna lie. Especially with both of these teams, you know, they like to play fast. They like to play up front. So it's going get, to get confusing. So, Fabio, you know, I got to tell you, I expect a really quick match here. Ben Crofts and Kane Walsenchuk lost in the finals in two games. That was okay. the number one team that we just saw um, last year. And, you know... They want to come out here with some vengeance. They want to prove a point. They want to yes. make it back to the finals. I think they're going to be extremely dominant in the game. What do you think? Well, listen, I would like to s I, w I can't say this is an even match uh, right now. Of course, Ben is not playing that much. He only plays doubles. But uh, they were scheduled to play in Atlanta, him and, and Kane, but they didn't play. So, you know, it's been a while since they've been on the court together. 
but they have a lot of experience. So we can't deny that. They lost last year the final, and the year prior that they won. So, you know. And, you know, uh, one of the things about Ben Croft, you know, he only plays – doubles he only plays with Cade and he only plays a couple tournaments world doubles championships exactly uh the u.s open some of some people might think that this holds him back a little bit because he's maybe not as experienced or you know he's not in it as often but you know what? i kind of look at it as a benefit to him because this is what he focuses on this is what he trains for each year um so you know he prepares for the u.s open he doesn't have to worry about playing singles or any of the other tournaments So one serving three, head pen scoreboard. Ernesto Choa. Wow, great, great shot, shot there by Javier Sta. So Ernesto Choa, just so you know, he is also known as El Atomo, the Atom. Really? Yeah. I I know. I think you can guess why. What is that? Because of his size. Oh. He's nicknamed the Atom. Javier Estrada, but from Chihuahua. I got to tell you, uh, JP, people may not realize this, but, you know, if you're a racquetball player in Chihuahua, Mexico, it is really, really, really tough because you got Javier Mar, Eduardo Garay, Rodrigo Montoya, you got Javier Estrada, you have uh, Ernesto Choa, Alanatera. You got a bunch of elite Mexican players yeah. that, you know, they're really tough. So if there's an open tournament in Chihuahua, there is no way you're going to get anywhere past those guys. Yeah. So what's the culture like when those guys get to play each other? You know, are there a couple rivalries formed? Are they all good buddies? What's, they, what's they, the culture as, like? Listen, they all get on, I know them all personally, and they all get along. They're really good guys. Yeah. They're All of them are really nice, in all honesty. So it's just a matter of where they play because they don't play all in the same clubs. But when they do, they're just on it. And you can literally walk in uh, one of the clubs that they play in and just watch all those guys play each other. So an early strong lead. Six serving two. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Pablo and the rest of our production crew doing a fantastic job all day today and for the rest of the week. Make sure you guys stay tuned here on the International Racquetball Tour uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll have a bunch of great matches for you all week long, all into Sunday to the finals. with a skiff there, forcing a side out. So what do you think, JP? What's your outlook for this? I mean, uh, I know you don't know the, this Mexican team there very much, but based on what you say, I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's everything's in favor of Ben and, and, and uh, Kane. Yeah, that's right. But you also have to think about how did, you know, this young Mexican team get here? They had to play some very good teams um, in their qualifying bracket. And I believe they actually took out fellow Mexicans, Mar and Montoya, and a tiebreaker to get here, which is a great win. That and was actually Conrado Moscoso. Oh, was that? Okay. And so Carlos and, and, and so Roland Keller, yeah. But still, to get here, they had to take out um, another great team. We're going to look that up right now for you guys. Yeah, so Ernesto Choa and Javier Estrada took out, oh, Adam Manilla and Nicholas Riffle. That's, yeah, that's still yep. a good win. Yeah, exactly. Nice for them. Jansen Allen, Shane Manzuri. So yes, this is this is an experienced team in Mexico, and we'll see how they fare. Right now, up until this point, they're down only by two, so they're keeping it up. They're keeping yeah. the pace. That's not bad against a, a a very good veteran team, such as Ben Croft and Kane Wazlanchuk. Wow, an absolute bullet, but he got it. Ben. Broken ball.
The Adam. High love Nick to Kane Wazalenchuk. Skip. Point given up there. Five serving six on the headpan scoreboard. The Adam. Changing that serve. I didn't like that change of serve. I was very looking forward to that high love Nick to. Oh. Going for the back wall. See, that serve that, that the Adam was doing, I really liked it, and he changed it up and didn't work in the favor. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with you. Uh, he was getting good court position, and as soon as he changed it, he lost that court positioning. So Ernesto looking for a hinder. He held up there. Ben Croft served to the backhand side which you know, this team does pretty regularly. They shift their serves and they change it up to serve to both players to keep them on their heels. Six serving five there. Just a replay called. Wow, point Great down the line. Play there. If, I have to, if I had to say matchup when it comes to side to side, JP, you know, I think Javier Estrada has a better advantage than Ben Croft on the right, but uh, clearly Kane Wazelenchek has a better advantage than the Adam on the left. So it would be evenly balanced at some point, but I think the team of uh, Kane and Ben have the edge. We'll see how it goes. So seven serving five on the headpan scoreboard. Let's see what serve Kane chooses for the Adam. Oh, they're going for Javier. A little too much heat there for Ochoa. Another point there for Kane and Ben. Eight serving five now on the headpan scoreboard. Kane and Ben getting to that point now where they're pretty warmed up. Uh, they scored, you know, eight points here. And they're seeing how well their game plan Skip. Is, uh, is going to work or what adjustments they need to make. This is where it gets dangerous. This is where the Mexican side can't let the game get too far away from them. They have to stay in it. They need to get back in that box. See, it's interesting how Kane is going for Javier. Keep him off pace, keep him off balance. There you go. Yep, great shot. Five point lead now by Kane and Ben. 10-5 in the headpan scoreboard. Kane just taking control of this match. Down the line. Ben. Foul ball. <laughs> Missed it a little bit there. So uh, let's take a quick glance at the brackets. The winner of this match will move on to the semifinals and face the winner of number three, Alejandro Landa, Samuel Murray against qualifiers Conrado Moscoso and Roland Keller. So that'll be a great matchup there. And those two will face off. The winner of that game will play the winner of this game in the semis. Should be interesting. Second serve coming up here. Down by five points. Point there for Ochoa and Estrada. So six serving ten on the headpan scoreboard. Ochoa, the Adam. See, I don't like that serve there from Ochoa. It's coming right off that back wall into Kane's forehand, giving him a forehand setup. Yeah, I, I like that high lob nick that he was doing earlier. Me too, And yeah. throughout the tournament, the, the players that we've seen, you know, against Kane have a little bit more success with that serve. It's more effective against him. Replay called there. Kane held up his swing, didn't want to hit Ernesto on that back shot. Bancroft, switching it up, going further. 
Estrada, Kane. Wow, the Adam picks it up somehow. Estrada. Nice play in the front by Ochoa. Do you think Kane intentionally tried to hit him? You know, I'm not, I'm not really 100% certain. I just know that Kane is one of the most accurate shots that I've seen on tour. But he tried to hit him, right? <laughs> you know, I think it, he was going for the smart shot, and that was the smart shot. Between the legs. Kane. Wow. Wow, digs that one out from deep. The crowd loves it. He's, yeah, ex Kane Walsenchuk is just extremely talented. So 11 serving six in the headpan scoreboard. Kane and Ben, five points away. Wow, great pass there. A little too much there for the King. Six serving 11. You know, I think I actually agree with that shot there. Ben Croft planted his feet. He had that cross court straight in shot. Javier blocked it. Uh, you know, the ball hit him and went out of bounds. So the ref called a half out. What do you think, Fabio? Well, you know, that, that shot from Ben, that, p that position from Ben, you know, he, it, he never fully recovered from that injury that he had. You know, this was the reason why, you know, part of the reason why he's not stopped playing the tour full time. Uh, but, you know, I like the way he does place his body every now and then to, you know, get a little obstacle there and create that. And it's and it's a player that I, I got to be honest with you, I kind of miss watching him play and see how he gives the ref heat, you know, he, and he gives the business to his opponents. He's entertaining. Like it or not. Wow, great get there from Ben Croft. But again, we see that serve from Ernesto Ochoa coming off the back wall, giving Kane that down the line setup, forcing Ernesto to dive for it and putting him out of position. Timeout by the Mexican team? Nope, not yet. Oh, I thought Javier Estad was signaling for it. Let's see. I think if they get another point, they need to take a timeout. Yeah, I agree. Off the back wall here for Ben, goes left side, Ernesto picks it up. Kane puts that away in the front left corner. Point for the number two team. 12 serving six in the head pen scoreboard. 12 serving seven in the head pen scoreboard. Timeout. And there it is, just like you called it, Fabio. Timeout. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll be right back with the rest of game one here on IRT Live. Do you have any idea how your mattress affects your body and how well you sleep? Is it too hard or too soft? Now you can get the total body support you need and the better sleep you want with the new MyPillow mattress topper. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. When I invented my new MyPillow mattress topper, I made it to have everything you'd ever want in a topper. My mattress topper helps give you the support you need, helps relieve your pressure points, and regulates your body temperature for you as an individual. It comes with a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry the cover. It's made in the USA, and I back it with my 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to MyPillow.com or call now to get your very own MyPillow mattress topper. Use the promo code, and Mike will give you 30% off and two standard MyPillows absolutely free. Order now. I personally guarantee it's going to change your bed into the most comfortable bed you'll ever own. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. And we are live here at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the United States Open, United Healthcare presented by. And guess what? We are in the last match of the night, doubles. Kane Wazelanchik, Ben Croft versus Javier Estrada and Ernesto Choa. Kane and Ben leading 12 to 7. And you know, Fabio, it might be the last match for the IRT stream tonight, but the energy is high as ever. We've got a great crowd who just watched Rocky Carson and Cliff Swain uh, fall to Daniel De La Rosa and Elgro Beltran. Um, and now they're watching the second ranked team, Kane Waslinchuk and Ben Croft, uh, play in their first match of this tournament. So they're having a great time, a great crowd out here. 
13 serving seven, two points away from taking game one. And listen, we've had a treat since yesterday watching great doubles matches. So far, I've liked more the doubles than the singles. I don't know about you, JP. Yeah, absolutely. We've had some really good matchups. Lots of tiebreakers. First and game point opportunity here for the second ranked team at the US Open. He goes to the left side jam serve, set up for Kane. He goes cross court pinch, beautiful shot. A little bit of a knuckle touch for Kane and Ben. They liked it, they felt good. We like what we see and we'll be right back here for game two on IRT Live. All right, did you know I was the mommy slam dunk champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready, all right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. So go to right, go to left, got fake them on. Mama go, oh, mama! She did it. Again. You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh huh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for game two of the U.S. Open men's doubles quarterfinals. Number two ranked team lost in the finals last year. Ben Croft, Kane Waslinchuk won game one over Ernesto Ochoa, Javier Estrada, J.P. Edwards, IRT statistician, joined today in the booth by Fabio Soto. Fabio, we've got a great game on our hands here. You know, we've seen... Kate and Ben do exactly what was expected. What should we expect out of game two here? Some adjustments, obviously, from the Chihuahua team from Mexico. They need to make some improvements. They need to get around Ben Croft. You know, Kane is on fire, obviously. But Kane. <laughs> Kane. <laughs> He's Kane. <laughs> He's Kane, exactly. He's on fire, but still, they have to get around it. Second serve there. A couple of things I'd like to see is um, the serves be a little bit better, maybe a little more accurate, maybe a little more towards the middle. Ernesto Ochoa's serves have been coming off that back wall and giving Kane a setup shot there, and he's not utilizing, um, you know, the fact that they have the serve to score points. So 0-0 zero, zero here. We'll see what serve he goes with, see if he changes it at all. Kane run up, runs up to meet that ball, and wow, Ben Croft buries that in the front right corner. Side out. Zero, serving, zero. So this is the last match that we have uh, for the night, but stay tuned all week. We will have great matchups for you all the way into the doubles finals on Saturday night and the singles finals on Sunday. Also stay tuned after this matchup. We will have Dean Baer, the voice of the IRT, and myself, JP Edwards, IRT statistician, doing a little bit of a recap and a little bit of what to expect for the rest of the week. Definitely won't want to miss that, so stay tuned after this match. Oh, great rally on our hands here. We saw a double dive there from Javier Estrada. Ben Croft's going to take this out of the air, goes down the line. Kane between the legs. Oh, and he can't put it back to the front wall. Great rally. So, two serving zero on the head pen scoreboard. Kane in the box to serve, second server. Down to drive. 
Ochoa up front. Kane just keeping it alive. Ochoa gonna take a setup right there. Kane going around it. Ben Croft, the plum in the front. Too much heat there for Ochoa. And another point for the veteran team. Three serving zero. Are we going to see the same outcome as the last game? You know, it's starting to look that way. Maybe it'll even, even a little bit quicker. Uh, Kane and Ben are looking pretty dominant. And right as I said that, Ernesto Ochoa with a beautiful uh, pinch shot in that front left corner. Zero serving three, giving them an opportunity to put some points on the board, close the gap a little bit. And broken ball. I believe that's the second broken ball we've had so far this game. Honestly, not surprised. All four players hitting, hitting pretty hard, hitting fast, hard shots. We've seen some behind the backs and between the legs. The crowd's loving it here. Oh, they are. Definitely they are. Kane with a setup. He skips the reverse pitch to the right-hand side. So they will now be on the board, one serving three. Three walls, second serve. He's going to go for the high lob Z. Ben's going to cut it off, go down the line. And wow, fast wow. hands from Kane. <laughs> That's why he's number one, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful shot there for the half out, one serving three. Easy shot there for Ben, going back. Kane, Great side shot. out. And Kane is in cruise control now. He's ready to to start scoring some points here. Two great shots in a row to get the half out, then the side out. Three serving one. Another point. Good serve there from Ben Croft. Four serving one. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many times I have ever seen that in my whole life, much less in a pro match. We're gonna take a look at the replay because because this was incredible. You know, this one might have to be sent to ESPN Top Highlights. Ben Croft running forward, swings hard, fakes it, and goes for the little <laughs> tap in the front. Uh, absolutely incredible. Playing to the crowd a little bit, and they loved it. Worked very well. Listen, he, I, I, I told at the beginning, he's entertaining to watch. I've always liked, liked watching him. I miss him. So, 6 one on the headpan scoreboard. Is it too late for the Mexican team, JP? You know, I think they would have to make a lot of adjustments. Uh, they'd have to start hitting some really low percentage shots, and they'd have to hit them well, obviously, to get Ben and Kane out of the group here. Because wow. as we see right there, they're hitting great, perfect shots. And it's not just one of them, it's both of them. So you can't adjust and start hitting to one side because the same thing's going to happen. So 7 7 one the head pen scoreboard. Kane and Ben looking at the same rhythm as last game. He's going to go with that high lob nick to the forehand side. Oh, just the high lob down the line. And Ben controlling that line, getting the eighth point for him and Kane. Another great shot. That was almost like a no-look reverse 
pinch there <clears throat> from Ben Croft. Another point. So with that point comes a timeout from the Mexican side. We're going to take a timeout here as well. We'll be right back with the rest of game two here on IRT Live. I think one of the biggest things about Gearbox is just the quality and the re reliability of their product. I know that no matter what I do, whatever product I choose, whatever racket I choose, I'm going to like it no matter what. It's something that's very comforting as a player um, to have a very consistent product in your hand every single practice session, match, after match. It's just really nice to have. My name is Bobby Horn. Don't make a mistake. Get yourself an M40 right now. We are back here in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the 2019 United Healthcare US Open Racquetball Championships. Last game of the night, quarterfinal match between Kane Wazalenchuk and Ben Croft versus Javier Estrada and Ernesto Ochoa. JP, what are your thoughts here about this timeout? Well, I think it's a good timeout, but like we talked about before, I think uh, Kane and Ben have found their groove. They're back, you know, they've shown that they want to win. They want to get to the finals as quick as possible, as strong as possible. Uh, they won the first game 15-7, and now they're on cruise control. Nine serving one here in the second game. So seems to be a good timeout so far for the So Mexican far, so side. good. Kane taking his time. The Adam. Great shot there. Too, little, too much heat. Side out, Bancroft. You want to repeat the Bancroft fake, JP? I think we should take another look at that. Yeah, at that shot. That I think people incredible. love that. So See. Ben goes down to drive. Javier Estrada hits the ball a little bit too hard, too high. Comes off the back. Ben goes for the goes for the kill shot, but fakes it, swing under the ball, and then just nice taps it up front. Great stuff. Not too much Took repeat there, at, but at it there. He's Another go look is worth a try. And then tap it. Wow, <laughs> so good. So, so a half out. We're back live, half out. One serving nine. Hi, Nick Lobb on the left side. Oh, points. Gonna stick with that serve. That's a smart serve to stick with. Oh, but Kane is gonna put it away, side out. So the timeout did okay. They got one point from it. So they're gonna have to get back in that box. Shorts are there. Ben Croft. Ben going for that C. Yeah, great serve. He's good. Kane. Get Kane's gonna get a setup. Goes cross court. Another setup. Half out. So good shot. Half out. Pinch there from Kane for their 10th point now in double digits. Another great serve from Kane. You know, that's really been one of the main differences. Oh, skip called by the ref. 
Kane's upset about that one. He wants a two bounce call. Two serving 10. So one of the main differences I've seen is in the quality of serves. That serve coming off the back wall, giving Ben a setup. They get the point from it, but not the best serve. While Kane and Ben are hitting great serves, they're forcing the Mexicans deeper into the court and getting really good setups uh, and for a good serve return kill. The no look shot from Kane and then the between the legs jumper from Ben and they'll win the rally with that. Too much heat there. So three serving 10 in the head pen scoreboard. The Adam. Looking to serve. Kane, overhead. Adam, Kane again. Strada. Oh, wow. Good hands there from Javier Strada to get that was point. That, that was just a defense. I, I think he tried to not get hit by the ball, and he killed it accidentally in the corner. Hey, whatever works. Whatever works. Good hands there, another point. The Adam. Picking up some momentum here. Five serving 10 in the head pin scoreboard. Mexican team is down by five. I love Nick, like that serve against Kane. Javier Estrada, Kane, no, Ben. Slide out. You know, I think I agree with the ref on that call. I yeah. think that ball was down. I don't know if he would have had a clean shot to get to it. I, I agree with, uh, with the referee. I think it's a good call. So far, the only semifinalists in the doubles pro men draw is De La Rosa and Beltran. Other matches are not done yet. I imagine they're going to be killer. Yeah, those are some really good matchups. A half out here. Those matches, all of them are in progress. They have not ended. I'm not surprised, though. The matches are very even. Great shot there from Kane. Eleven serving five in the head fence scoreboard. Kane, Wazel, and Chuck. Going for Javier. Ben going defensive. The Adam, offensive again. Of course Ben is going for it. Javier is going for it. Ben keeps it alive. Kane jumps, but he's in the middle. Kane's upset about that one. He wants them to, to swing to at least try to take the shot. He feels like he got up high enough. I think it's a good call, but at the same time, I agree with, with Kane a little bit. You know, they've got to take that shot if they have it. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. Listen, win playing racquetball. Don't win with the ref. Good shot there from Ernesto Ochoa. Six serving 11. Set up here for Kane. Oh, Javier gets it between the legs. Ben goes cross court. Ernesto tries to go off the back wall, isn't going to make it. Side out, 11 serving six and four points away from taking the second game and the match and moving on to the semifinals. Ben Croft down to drive. Good serve there, gives him a setup, he goes cross court. Another setup here off the back wall. Again, cross court, Kane's gonna pick it up. He couldn't get to that ball, his racket got caught on one of the other players, but ref calls a point, so 12 serving six now, three points away from the match. Another 
point. So remember, stay tuned after this match. We'll have some live interviews. Uh, we will have some l a look at the draws, and we'll talk about a little bit what to expect for the rest of the week. So after this match, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll have some good content here for you guys. Ben Croft, Kane Wilsonchuk, two points away from winning the match. Javier Estrada, Ernesto Ochoa just trying to stay in it. Force a tiebreaker, maybe. Oh, good get from Ben. And he's up. You know, I think he was up in time. He was up. I think Ernesto he was Ochoa up. had plenty of room. He was up. No, Kane, I mean, Ben got out of the way really, really quick. Yeah, I think Ben was up and out of the way in time for Ernesto to take the shot. He almost turned and looked at the ref before he even turned and looked at the shot. Fabio, first uh, match point opportunity for the second ranked team. Exactly. Kane taking his time, thinking about the shot he wants. He's going to go down for a drive. Oh, oh, some good movement there from Ben, but he's not able to get that one. So a side out, and uh, Javier Estrada, Ernesto Ochoa, will have another shot to score some points. Well, we've got some exciting news for you racquetball fans. Some bonus content tonight after this match. We will have Alex Landa and Conrado Moscoso on the show court for you. <laughs> Towel time out here. Six serving 14 in the headpin scoreboard. The Adam. I love Nick there to Kane. Kane shooting. Ben. Point there for Ochoa and Estrada. Bancroft, Javier Estrada. A replay the shot. called there. Fourteen serving seven. The Adam going to the front. Kane, good wow, Kane. good get. And another one. Estrada. Great court coverage. Uh, 
Yep, referee called half out. I think the ball hit Kane at the end there. It did. 14 serving seven. Another match point opportunity for the veterans. Ooh, big yell there from Javier Estrada. He is fired up. But you know, actually what I think what'll happen with that is I think it'll just fire up Ben and Kane more. Oh, you think? Yeah. Both teams playing very aggressive. Ooh, and another point. We might have a match on our hands. Let's see. I think Ben and Kane are going to try to shut this down as quick as they possibly can. They should. Can. Short serve you don't want to give any leeway to the Mexican team, believe me. Absolutely, yeah, they could go on a run. The last thing they want right now is a tiebreaker. Oh, and Kane can't get that one. Ernesto Ochoa with a fist bump and another point on the board. Nine serving 14, gaining a little bit of momentum. The crowd loves it. They want to see as much racquetball as they can. Good pass shot, half out. Nine, serving 14. So Javier Estrada going over to that backhand side. Switching sides here. Oh, can't get that one. It's going to be side out. Oh, the Mexican team not giving up without a fight. Yeah, yeah, another match point for Ben and Croft, or uh, Ben and Kane here. So Ben Croft and Kane Wazalenchuk trying to finalize this final point to get him to the semifinals. Stay tuned after this match. We'll have some great content for you. Interviews with some players. And the other sem or the other quarterfinal matchup, Alex Landa, Samuel Murray, and Rado Moscoso, Roland Keller, here on IRT Live. Great shot there from Ben to put them through to the next round. The crowd loves it. The crowd's ready for some more racquetball. Stay tuned, we're gonna go to commercial, but we will be right back here on IRT Live. My name is Eric Garcia and I'm from Mexico. So I'm focusing on the school, but yeah, I'm trying to play more tournaments. Reaching your dream foundation allows me to come to play these tournaments and they, they support me with the, with the rooms. They like cheer me up and to travel around the world and. I love it. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I started by using the world's best cotton called Giza. It's only grown in in a region between the Sahara Desert, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Nile River. It's ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. My Giza sheets also include full 21 inch wide pillowcases that will fit over any pillow and deep pocket sheets that will fit over any mattress. The first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now to get your very own MyPillow Giza Dream Sheets. Giza Dream Sheets are available in a variety of colors. Use the promo code and Mike will give you 30% off and free shipping. That's right, 30% off and free shipping. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. 